So last week, ChatGPT got an update. People are calling it ChatGPT Vision. Essentially, you can upload images to ChatGPT and it can view the image. So I've been using this feature for the last week or so, and I've been scouring the internet for the best use cases. I'm gonna show you guys some of the best examples that I've found. All right, so here's the first example. I call it the Fashion Advisor. Is this an appropriate outfit for an engagement party in the middle of a day at a restaurant? Yes, the outfit looks well coordinated and suitable for an engagement party in the middle of the day at a restaurant. The blazer and shirt combination is smart and the shoes complement the overall ensemble. It's a good balance between formal and semi-formal attire. Now, I could have even made that prompt a little bit better by maybe telling ChatGPT the season of the year. And I also could have mentioned what restaurant I was going to as well. Maybe the answer would have been better. All right, here's the next example, guys. It's a parking meter reader. In my city, the parking meters or the signs, I don't know, they get kind of confusing and as you can see there. So rather than me trying to figure it out for like two minutes, I just uploaded the photo. How long can I park here? It's Sunday, 12, 14 p.m. On Sundays, according to the sign, you can park for up to four hours without needing a ticket. I didn't double check if ChatGPT was right, but I didn't get a parking fine, so it worked out. Moving on, ChatGPT now can act as your personal chef. So I uploaded the photo of this dish. I actually thought this was an Australian thing, but it's actually a traditional British dish. So all you have to do is just upload the photo and just say, provide me a recipe and instructions on how to cook this dish. And yeah, it's pretty much given you all of the ingredients and it's given all of the instructions as well on how to actually cook it. Okay, so this next one's funny. If you can't think of the specific dish that you're after, take a photo of your fridge and ask ChatGPT to provide you three different recipes. So provide me three recipes from these ingredients and you can see there guys, this is the photo of my fridge, nothing crazy, nothing fancy. The three recipes that it thought of was vegetable stir fry and sweet and sour sauce. And I'll just read to you guys what it says here. Various fresh vegetables, looks like you have bell peppers, tomatoes, and possibly other veggies, sweet and sour sauce, and available protein, tofu, chicken, beef, soy sauce, and garlic. And it gives you instructions as well on how to make the actual dish. And the other one was egg salad sandwich and a pasta salad. Now my fridge was kind of empty anyway, but like the fact that it was able to pick out specific vegetables or specific ingredients and just think of a recipe was absolutely insane. This next one, I uploaded the photo of Rio de Janeiro and I just asked, where is this place? And I'll just show you guys the photo. A lot of you guys might know this place, but yeah, I just wanted to see if ChatGPT was able to identify where it was. This is a view of Rio de Janeiro, the prominent statue in the images of Christ, uh, Radomir statue. Anyway, you get the point, but I don't know. Maybe you can even say something on the lines of like, organize a holiday or, or schedule some sort of like holiday or attractions or places that I can go to in this vicinity. I don't know. All right, this next one I found on Twitter, which is the interior designer. Yeah, you just upload a photo of the property that maybe you're looking to rent. You're on realestate.com and you can see here, recommend ideas to design a modern aesthetic for this living room in my house include color scheme, furniture, layout, decor, and lighting suggestions. And you can see there, guys, it's it's already done the color scheme and the furniture. That could be a good one, especially if you're looking to purchase maybe a new couch, or if you're looking to just redesign your current living room, bedroom, or even if you're looking to move into a property and you want to get ideas of what you could do for that specific property. Maybe that might be the determining factor if you move into that property or not. So that's a really cool one. I like that one. This was another good example. This you can see there, guys, it's a very complex diagram. I'm not even going to bother to try to read any of that, but you can see there, please provide a concise overview of the diagram I've attached, explaining the key components. And you can see there it's breaking down everything in the diagram. This doesn't come up in my day-to-day -day life, but it may be good for you depending on your profession, uh, or maybe you're a student, uh, or maybe you're a professor, I, I don't know, but I'm sure it will come up from time to time. Regardless though, the fact that it was able to just read that diagram and just break down everything for you, I think it's cool. This next one's actually for content creators. Funny enough, I showed ChatGPT my thumbnail and I asked it what it thought of the thumbnail and it gave me some feedback which was good so I'm gonna start doing that from now on I'm gonna upload my thumbnails uh, and it will give me feedback it will tell me if it's good or not this one I had to do I don't know I don't know if you guys know what that s is to explain it for people that don't know what it is back at school 
Um, everyone used to just draw this S. You're sitting in class, you're bored, and you just draw this S. But it was just funny because it knew what the S was. I don't know, just an example. This next one is really cool. This guy, pretty much what he did is he uploaded an actual website and it said, recreate this user interface with incredible details. Do not skip anything, write all code in one HTML file and use Tailwind. I don't look, I don't know what that is, but from what I'm seeing, well, from what I'm understanding is he's uploading a photo of a specific website and he's asking ChatGPT to write the actual code. And I think on the right, I don't know if that's Python, I'm, I'm sure it's some sort of programming software, but he's gonna, he's, look at this. He's pretty much just gonna grab the code, provide it, and I'm pretty sure it's just gonna run it for him straight away. All right, so he's copying the code, he's pasting it, he's clicking run, and you can see right there, it's, I mean, it's gen, look, it's created this website. From what I, it looked very similar to what he did at the start, so cool example. This one's interesting for people that go to the gym. I just grabbed this generic photo of this lady doing a squat. I asked her to rate the form. Yeah, the individual in the image is performing a squat. It actually said good feedback. Now, this one's kind of weird, I don't know, because most of the time, you're gonna do a video when you're recording yourself doing the exercise, but maybe you could just screenshot it at the part where you've uh, completely done the squat, provide it to ChatGPT, and it can give you feedback for your squat form. This one's also cool. I uploaded a photo of a squat rack and I said, how do I use this machine and how much weight should I add? I weigh about 76 kilos and it's my first time using this machine. I'm new to the gym. Remember context guys, as much context as possible, you'll be able to define and give you the best sort of answer that's tailored for you. It just says, yeah, the machine, the image is a squat rack, uh, the basic guidelines, yep, adjusting, safety bar, starter, you get the point guys. But another cool example, this is another example I found on Twitter. Um, I don't know, maybe sometimes you'll get a letter from your grandfather, the written or grandmother, and it just says here, transcribe and interpret this old letter explaining any unclear handwriting or obscure language. And it can sort of pick up uh, the the text of what's being written down. So I don't know, that might come in handy. You never know, your grandmother or grandfather might send you a letter, you may not be sure what it says. All right, last one. This is another example on Twitter. Identify this animal in the photo, explain what species it is, if it is venomous or dangerous, and provide any other useful details about its characteristics and behavior. And you can see there, guys, it's a snake. Uh, the animal in the photo appears to be a rattlesnake, specifically one of the species found in North America. And it just gives you some information about the snake. That one could also be good if you're looking to purchase an animal, a dog or a cat, and you're very specific with the type of breed. You could take a photo, upload the photo. Maybe ChatGPT can give you more context into the animal's breed. That's it for the video, guys. I just wanted to show everyone some of the examples that I've come across. I think this is brilliant. So far, this has been one of the coolest features and updates for ChatGPT. Imagine when we're able to upload video. It's going to be an absolute game changer. This is just images for the time being. Message me on Twitter or Instagram, guys, if you guys got any good examples that you want to share with me so I can maybe upload them. Maybe we'll do a part two. But for now, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.